Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. I am doing an updated makeup collection storage video. Um, we did move a little over a month ago into a apartment and I purchased some new storage containers and everything. So my makeup collection is finally stored kind of the way that I've envisioned it for a while. My area is kind of a mess because I just fixed everything. So I'm just going to go over this with you. I'll go in more like more in depth with like different drawers in other videos. But up here we have this little, um, this used to be a medicine cabinet that you just hang on the wall and there was like a little mirror door right here. But I have my Kat Von D Saint and Center palette, my Supernatural Hot Topic palette, my Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac palette, all of my Disney palettes right here, and then my e.l.f. like Halloween palettes. I have the like Real Techniques big package of sponges right here that I actually bought on clearance for like 75% off. My Kat Von D Alchemist palette, Too Faced Candy palette, and the three melted mattes that Candy Johnson collaborated with them on. Put them on display because I love candy and yeah. So over here is just a really cheap like $20 bookshelf that I got from Walmart that I just use for my palettes. Um, I have the Supernatural Monster Guide palette up here. And then I have Jeffree Star palette which I'm really like this close to getting rid of. Um... Because I never, ever use it. And a lot of what's going on with Jeffree Star right now, I'm just not really into supporting him anymore. Um, four of my Anastasia palettes. I have two MAC palettes. Um, Kat Von D, Saint and Sinner. Kat Von D, Many Metal Matte. Um, Kristen Leanne, Too Faced Festival. Um, I'll go more in-depth in a palette video. Carly Bible, BH Cosmetics. Um, more BH Cosmetics down there. Urban Decay. Becca, Too Faced, blah, 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 um, Cover Girl, stuff like that. So, on to my majority of my collection. Um, these, I actually got at Target. They were like $12.99 a piece, and there was, it's a three-drawer section that I stacked on top of each other. So, there's six drawers, like six three-drawer sections in total. Um, $12.99 a piece, not too bad really like them. This right here I got at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off. It was originally $40, which was kind of insane. I don't know why my brush is doing that. But I got it for $20. Bucks. Um, I really like it. It's like perfect for brushes. Um, I keep all of my backup brushes in here. I have this Wet n Wild brush cleansing cloths. They don't make these anymore and I really wish that they did because they're really useful and really helpful. I have my Real Technique sponge here in its little case. You're supposed to be able to use it and then store it in this case to dry. But I used it and then went to use it again like seven days later. And it was still wet. So I don't keep it in there to dry. I just store it in there. Um, I have this mirror right here which I got from Walmart for I think $10. Super cheap. Um, then I have my two lamps back here. I use those. Every single time I do my makeup, not just for filming and everything. Um, I keep baby wipes here. These are my SD cards, and those are all of my setting sprays. Now on to the drawers. My first drawer right here is primers, face, and eye primers. Um, I have a little bit of everything in here. Uh, Rimmel, L'Oreal, Maybelline, the Too Faced, um, Primed and Peachy, um, Revlon, and then my eye primers. I have Urban Decay. L'Oreal Wet n Wild. I have my backup Urban Decays here and then my backup Urban Decay setting sprays back here. So there's those. I have my foundations here. These are the ones in squeezy tubes or just like tubes in general. I have like an It Cosmetic sample here that I keep forgetting about so I don't use it. Um, the most expensive one I have in here is Tarte which is actually way too light for me. The lady matched me really stupidly. Um, I have e.l.f., Neutrogena, Rimmel, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then I have some samples of the Urban Decay All Nighter back here. Um, I really want to try this, and if I like it, I might buy it. But I've been going to the beach a lot lately, so I'm getting really tan. So a lot of my foundations don't actually match me at the moment. And then in this drawer, I have all of my, like, jar foundations, like, in glass containers. Or like little compacts like this. This is the L'Oreal 
Lumi cushion. I actually really like this for somebody who is a matte lover. So that's nice. Um, the Maybelline Dream Wonder, Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, Maybelline, more Maybelline. There's actually a lot of Maybelline in this drawer. Um, this one is concealers. It's kind of bare, but I mean, I probably have more than any one person needs. I have some that aren't my shade because there used to be a trend to contour with a foundation or a concealer that is darker than your skin tone, which I sometimes do. Um, I have Maybelline, uh, L'Oreal, Revlon, um, more Maybelline. And then we have face powders. Um, yeah, this I got for free when I bought the Tarte, um, Amazonian Clay foundation. Um, it's pretty much the same as this e.l.f. one, and there's another one. Oh, and this one, the Peach Perfect one. They're, these three are pretty much all the same. They're just those, like, really soft silica powders. This one's a little bit nicer because it has kind of, like, a pinky sheer to it, but you can't see it when you blend it in. Um, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte and then a backup. Um, Airspun, the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder which I'm trying to use up because it's just, it's taking forever. Same with the um, Milani Prep Set and Go powder. I'm trying to get rid of that. Um, and then blushes. As you can see, I have a problem with blushes. Um, I have all of the Urban Decay, like, Afterglow 8-hour blushes, the It Cosmetics um, Confidence in Your Glow, Laura Geller Milani, um, Pacifica, Maybelline, NARS, Elf, Tarte, um... Too Faced, more Maybelline, yeah, so lots of that. On to this side, I'm not a big bronzer or contour person, so this drawer is pretty bare. Um, I have the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in St. Lucia. This, I don't really use this very often because it has glitter in it. Um, the Lorac, Lorac Pro Contour, this is one of the e.l.f. like aqua blushes and bronzers, like the cream ones. Um, I have some Milani Multitasker Face Powder, which I don't think is even around anymore. This is in a darker shade, um, dark tan, so I use this for contouring sometimes, or bronzing. And then the, focus, the, um, Wet n Wild Contouring Palettes. Um, next is Highlighting Drawer. This is another thing that I have issues with, um, I recently purchased two of the Anastasia Glow Kits in Sugar and Sun Dipped, and they are actually really amazing, and I love them. Um, the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Highlighter. I have a Jeffree Star Highlighter. As much as I don't really want to support him anymore, this is one of my favorite highlighters ever, so I'm still keeping it because I spent the money on it. Um, Wet n Wild Fergie Highlighters. These are really old, but they actually are still around. They just repackaged them. They just don't say Fergie on them anymore. Wet n Wild Highlighter in Crown of My Canopy. I have the Anastasia Amrezi Highlighter, Essence Pure Nude, just all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll do a highlighter video. Um, On to Cream Shadows. I have all of like the Revlon um, eye paints in here. Some, uh, what are these? The L'Oreal Infallible Paints. The Maybelline... Um, what is this called? Color tattoos. You don't ever hear anybody talk about these anymore. They dry out really fast. I honestly need to go through these and see if there's any that are dried out. I have the e.l.f. Um, what are these called? Um, smudge pots. Uh, Cover Girl cream shadows. I have one Bobbi Brown and then I have this Revlon one. And then I have all of the Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. I've only opened one of them. I know they dry out really fast, so I'm only trying to open them one at a time. Um, next up, we have Single Shadows, Big Collection, all of the L'Oreal um, pigments, the L'Oreal Press Shadows, um, some Wet n Wild right here, some Urban Decays, more Wet n Wild, MAC, CoverGirl, all that kind of stuff. And then I have some like smaller eyeshadow palettes, like Quads, Quints, Trios, and stuff like that. Um, this right here is one of my favorites. Um, I just recently purchased the Naked Basics and the Naked Petite Heat. I honestly really love this palette. I was not interested in buying the, um, the full-size one. 
but I decided to buy this one and I really, really like it and I'm glad that I did. Next up is eyeliners and brow stuff. Um, I have like L'Oreal and e.l.f. and just like drugstore brow stuff in here. Lots of eyeliners. These three are a trio that was actually on Ulta's website for on sale for $15. It comes with Perversion, um, Rockstar, and Midnight Cowboy, and it was only $15, bucks, so that was a really good deal. And then on to this side, we have um, my mascara drawer. I have lots of mascaras. I also have this two-pack of the Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara that was on sale for $15 on Ulta's website. They're on sale right now, so if you're interested, I would definitely go get it. I have lots of the Better Than Sex mascaras because it's like every time you buy something Too Faced, they send you a sample of it. And then this was actually in a kit that was like Sex on the Peach or something like that. So there's are my mascaras. I have lots of mascaras. And then these last five drawers are lip products. So we have lip liners here, which I don't have very many because I don't use them very often. Um, yeah. Then we have like my weird colored lip products. I have a green Too Faced Melted Matte. I have this like really glittery, pretty Milani lip gloss, which I only use as a topper because I don't like wearing lip glosses. I have an e.l.f. black lip gloss. And then I have a clear lip gloss from Too Faced. So in this drawer, I have mostly like oranges and corals. I have a mixture of like all the drugstore brands and then uh, ooh, a few high ends like um, Too Faced and Urban Decay. And then this drawer is my nudes. As you can see, I have like Fight, CoverGirl, uh, Maybelline, Revlon, Wet n Wild. I have this little sample from NARS. Um, Too Faced, not sure if I said that already, L'Oreal, I think I said L'Oreal, uh, yeah, there's this gloss right here, which I think should probably be in the oranges, wrong drawer, oranges, okay, next drawer is reds, lots of reds, um, L'Oreal, Rimmel, Too Faced, um, Revlon, Urban Decay, CoverGirl, um, these are pinks, um, again, L'Oreal, Rimmel, CoverGirl, um, e.l.f., Wet n Wild, I have, like, a single Jeffree Star in here, um, Maybelline, uh, Alme, actually, there's Al there's here, and then this very last drawer is, like, purples and plums, I'm actually surprised that there's a lot of this in here, I have L'Oreal, Alme, Wet n Wild, Revlon, um, Rimmel, Too Faced, Urban Decay. I actually have a couple Kat Von D's in here. I found this one on sale at, um, was it TJ Maxx or something? It's in the shade Motorhead. Um, yeah. And then, oh, Burt's Bees. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So that is my entire updated, this is like post declutter makeup collection. I hope you guys found this interesting, and I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth with some of my bigger collections, like my highlighters and stuff, and my palettes in other videos. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.